Curly Girl Method. I have done three years of research on what works on my hair and have been doing this method for eight years now. You'll see that I use very little product on my hair because I have type 2 curly hair and thin hair follicles. I do not want to weigh down my hair. I do not need my curls to be perfectly spiral. I embrace the messy, beachy, weightless look of my hair, which actually has a lot of volume. So if you have hair like me, embrace the messy look that so many girls have to use heat to achieve. First, I go into the tank of my hair with a white tooth comb. Now my hair won't seem very curly here just because it's day 4 hair and having type 2 curly hair means that our curl structure is very moldable and tends to lose its curls pretty easily. So as soon as I put my hair in a bun or I comb it or run my hands through it or even twirl it, it's gonna get less curly. Next is the scalp hair oil, which I massage into the scalp to increase blood flow to hair cells which promote a healthy environment for hair growth. One of my symptoms of stress is hair fallout, so this is why I focus on massaging the scalp for a long, long time. There is not enough massaging. And I focus on the parts where my stress gets me, which is the front of my hair and the crown. Next, I go in with a hair mask. And because I already have oils on the roots of my hair, I focus on the ends of the hair. Because I have, again, thin hair, I don't put a lot of product on the hair mask. Because I notice if I put too much product on my hair, it tends to get greasy and it actually breaks off because of the too much protein and too much vitamins. Think of it as a plant. If you put too much water to it or just too much product, you will end up killing the plant, suffocating it. So we don't want that. Then I just put my hair in a bun and I wait 20 minutes for it to marinate. Next is shampoo. Here I just focus on the roots of the hair to continue massaging to remove excess oil and to increase blood flow. Thank you. 